In this video, I'm going to be covering this crimping tool, but I'm going to be focusing on the wire cutter and the wire stripper. This is a tool that's common when you get a tool set, just a random uh, tool set. So uh, the only use I have it for right now is for the wire cutter and the wire stripper. I'm going to be making some wires kind of like these and uh, some kits. They have jumper cables like this one. This came out of one kit. And then sometimes they got jumper cables that are pre-cut like these that came in this box. But uh, the colors don't really fit onto the board light that I like. So I'm going to make a couple jumpers like I did this. I did these before. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're a little too long. I could trim them down, but uh, I'm going to go over this tool again in this video. So now to begin with, we have the wire cutter here and so we have a flat edge on the left side on the right side we have a bevel that comes to a sharp point so we just slip the wire in between the uh, the bevel and the flat point I got the wire there now we gotta do a squeeze and it'll pop right off really easy and uh, I didn't really need to do that but uh, I just wanted to do that to show it now we have a a nice area here to start stripping. So now we want to strip some plastic off the end of the wire. Uh, strip the insulation off of the conducting metal part of the wire. So I think this uh, tool is uh, the holes are just a little bit too big for this wire. I think this wire is a little bit too small. This is 22 gauge but uh, it does it does work so I'll put it in the smallest slot and I'm going to have a lot of wire up there left over. I can always trim it if need to. And then, then I squeeze it tight and wiggle it. I also think uh, if I had a better tool they would fit too. But as you can see, the plastic insulation just uh, slips right off when you do that. Didn't You kind of got to wiggle it, kind of work it off, and then at some point it will just bounce off. So now, as you can see here, that fits into the board pretty good. I got a, just a little bit of extra wire there, but that's fine. And uh, I'm going to use the next tool to work on this end, but now I can just measure it right on the board. It's already on the board, and just cut it wherever I want. 